Hey, one and all, how are you? Today starts an ambitious read. Packham's Land, Omnibus, Volume 1, by the great Gary Shipman. Boom, 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 boom. This will obviously take place over a while. There may be interruptions for a week or two for another book, but we will get it done eventually. Dun, 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 dun! Packham's Land awaits for no one. Or maybe it does. Ooh, I never noticed this signature before. Get your signature. Awesome. Awesome as a possum. I don't know why possums are awesome, but just because they rhyme with awesome. We got a nut. Let's see. So let's see. We got basically the cover again, but in black and white and slightly light it or lightened. We got Cree, the Indisha page, really. A forward by Jin Kruber. We will not read that. Sorry, Jin. A preface by Gary Shipman about exploring back of land. We won't read that. Sorry, Gary. We won't want to get into the comic. We got Disco an introduction of Discovering Gary Shipman by James Pruett. Again, we won't read that. Sorry, James. Packham's Land. Do, do, do. Bom, ba, 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 da, da, da. Chapter 1. Paul's Journey. What does that say? Something. Ave Paul's Adventure. What's this? Lord me and good. Lend me your good. Blah, 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 blah. Can't read all that because figures are in the way. Lend me your good ear and your good eye, and I will tell you the tales of my many adventures. My name is Paul, and here is my story. It started one summer day, a summer day perfect for exploring, with a bag of PNG sandwiches. Some sodas, for some of you, that would be pops, and various supplies needed for exploring. I get out, I get out for, I get out for the nearby wooded area. Oh, I'm sorry, not get, I set out for the nearby wooded area. It belonged to someone, my friend's. And I could call Old Man Packins. Through none, of, though none of us would admit it, it was out of fear that we had never properly explored the wood. It was always the same routine. Just when we had gotten up the nerve to go, somebody would back out. Almost as soon as I started, I noticed something that made me want to turn and run. Huh? What's this? Blood! Fresh blood. Something is wounded. Whatever it is, it must be hurt bad. The trail of blood led me to the mouth of a cave. I could hear the wounded creature skittering through the darkness ahead of me. 
sounds called the sounds called me on I followed the sounds into the darkness the silence I quickened my pace hoping that I would not be too late my flashlight went out walk walking ugh, making my task all the harder as I struggled to find my way in the darkness it was very near I was very near to despair my mind was running how could I ever succeed in getting out of the cave this way then I heard a cry of agony S sounded like a man's voice could it be a man that was hurt with one last effort I threw myself in the direction of the voice and hope for the best. Ah! I found myself out in the sunlight again. Everything was beautiful. I saw the wood so clearly. Now, after the darkness, the greenery, the breeze, the brilliant sky, and the smells that come with summer. It was all so captivating. Everything was fresh, always fresh and alive and well. Almost everything. Who could be so cruel? The answer seemed to come to life. The, see, the, the answer seemed to come from the lifeless creature at my feet. Man. The loss of the innocent life affected by this affected me strongly as the beauty of the woods and had just moments before tears filled my eyes as I grew the passing of this little bird. And then without warning it was alive. Release me. I must saw. I opened my hands and the bird flew high and my joy soared with it. As the bird ascended, it seemed no, it seemed to change and grow and it looked like an eagle. This is incredible. The eagle was bright, so bright the sky turned gold. The bird seemed to fill the sky. The bird gave a mighty shriek, so loud it shook the ground. As far as I could see, there was the magnificent eagle. The ground beneath me tingled in response to what was taking place. All of nature around me was totally yielded to this being. I was taking in so much that I began to feel weak and the weakness was growing with such passing with each passing moment and just when I felt I could take no more he was gone I was stunned with amazement and left with the feeling that a conversation had gone on between the eagle and myself, although I couldn't remember such any such thing. And then a feather drifted down in front of me. What's this? It was so beautiful. As I admired the feather, 
sweet music filled my ears. It was like holding something that was alive and simple. This simple object made me aware of all that was in me, both the good and the bad. This frightened me. Thoughts of kings and kingdoms flashed through my mind as if they had already happened, like old memories. Memories of where they of where they they things or were they memories or were they things to come? I knew this was a gift from the eagle and a reminder. I put the feather in my bag and headed for the hole. I felt that I'd had enough adventure for one day. Goodbye, friend. At that moment, I realized strange. But the world around me spun at this real at the uh, spun at this realization I'm lost well, let's see how many pages did we do there so one one two three four five six seven eight nine 11, 12. You know what? I think that's where we're going to end. We're going to keep these short. I know that it'll make it long. You know, we have lots and lots to do here. Uh, but, you know, realization that he's lost seems like a good spot to stop. Not that I could probably do that in a bit of time, but you know, maybe I'll do that next time. I did go over a bunch of stuff. So, okay, um, I don't know where the bookmark is that I got from this. Uh, oh, here it is. So, there is my bookmark for Packham's Land. So, I do hope you enjoyed what I read. Um, uh, remember to hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the notification button, um, and comment. And have a great and wonderful day. Bye for now. God bless. We'll catch you all later. Love you all.